we are keeping the technical takes going. We couldn't do it without bringing our, in our chart master. Carter Braxworth of Worth Charting is here to hit the big movers from the week. Carter, there were so many, particularly in retail. Ross stores, yes, Gap, we, Macy's all surging, right? A bonanza. Uh, and let's get right to it. Three retail charts. Um, there's so many ways to interpret uh, each, but Macy's, of course. Uh, now, is the headline that it was up 32% for the week? Yeah. Or is the better headline? Before this week, it was down 85% from its all-time high of 73. And now it's down only 80. This stock was $73. It's 14. This is a gift if you're long. Get out. Um, but let's look at Ross. And of course, this is a real business. This is $45 billion in market cap. Macy's is three. Ross, just a textbook example of what a breakout is. Good relative strength, um, bullish price volume correlation. I think this goes plenty higher. Uh, closed at 128. I'd play for almost 135. Uh, and then finally, Gap, more akin, had a 30% move, almost 32, identical to Macy's. But whereas the Macy's move is impetuous, impulsive, rash, this is developmental. This bottomed in May. Um, and so I think it has all the elements of a proper bottom versus a knee jerk. Uh, and I would be on the long side here. We should, I mean, we have to do our jobs here, Carter. I mean, you did say to sell Macy's ahead of earnings. And so, you know, to those sell who more. followed your advice, they missed that big move higher that you now say sell to more. fade. Yeah, sell th now. this is, this is not, this is, is exactly, I mean, I would sell more. I would get more short. All right. Um, let's get the regionals here. The KRE was up 9% this week. It closed above the 200-day moving average for the first time since February. So what do you think of it, Carter? Yeah, so uh, it's an important development. If you were to look just at the gain on the week, regional banks were up 9.3. That's um, almost 50% more than the big banks, right? So the money center banks, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citi, um, the KRE up 9 versus 7, and financials as a sector up 3. But here's the thing. The regional banks, all of them, in the KRE, 140 stocks, it adds up to about $375 billion. JP Morgan itself is $441. So the question is, does it matter? It's not a lot of market cap, but it matters because the action is very developmental, and this was the most impaired area of the entire equity complex. Uh, I think you want to be long here. 